Hello guys, this is my third devlog for Unreal Engine and since my last update I done more work in my game and uh, I now put the AI controlled enemy character and it's using the same blueprint class as the player character. Uh, to do that I using the child actor component to hold different uh, different mesh and uh, all these animations will be generated dynamically on the fly. So here I is my configuration file and I create my child actors. And this actor is very simple, it's just uh, have a root component and also the select the skeleton mesh and also attach the animation blueprint and this blueprint is very simple just using the retarget pose from mesh node. It will try to retarget all the animations uh, on runtime from the parent skeleton. So as long as the characters are not so different and are both humanoid structure, it will get pretty good animation retargeting. So this is an example and my play game I configured to using the player as my controlled character and now I change to a male enemy character now I can control the different mesh but uh, they all have the same animations and uh, this is the actors and these hold a different mesh and also a different uh, blueprint uh, class but uh, in this class is just have very minimal code it's just have one uh, retarget pose from mesh node so this by this way it saved me uh, lots of time I don't need to expo export any animations to different mesh and I'm just using one single animation animation file and it can attach to different mesh and here I change to the female enemy and I can control it the same as I control the main player. So this is my character way to handle different uh, mesh and uh, I also to testing my AI controlled enemies using the same method. And in next I learned how to configure the ragdoll into the uh, character. By default the Paragon character won't give me a right ragdoll physics animations and uh, I just uh, learned from some other YouTube videos and apply these physics assets to different uh, character mesh. So when the enemy getting destroyed, uh, the code will enable the ragdoll. So it will enable the collision uh, with the characters and also the environment. So here I disable the behavior tree for the AI enemy. Um, and now I can apply some damage. When the enemy died, it's uh, we replaced by ragdoll, and it can 
interact with some physics with my player. And also, I disable the ragdoll after about 5 seconds. So after 5 seconds, there's no ragdoll, no animations, and uh, it will only stay stable in the ground. I also spent time to learn the behavior tree. So this is my simple behavior tree applied to AI controlled enemy. So when an enemy saw the player, it will trying to enter the combat system and using the ranged weapon to attack the player. And um, when it's not saw the player but hearing some noise, it will trying to find out the location of the noise and walking to the to the locations and trying to find out the player. And the last thing is uh, if there's nothing the enemy detect. It will try to enter the petrol system. The petrol system has some predefined uh, route uh, locations, so it will walk into one by one, or I can define the random locations to let the AI to walk around randomly. So this is my petrol system, so it can control the AI character to move around by predefined locations. I'm using the component visualizer system to visualize the locations for the petrol points and uh, I can click the the character so now it will show the visualizer and the white arrow show the, the facing directions when it stopped at the locations and the yellow arrow show the, the sequence numbers from location one to another locations and uh, I also define different uh, behaviors for the petrol system so it can either randomly to walking around in different locations or it can using the looping method to from start to the end and then from start to the end again or I using the next one is the ping pong method so it can from start to the end and then from the end to start so this is pretty much what I have done for my game and uh, I will put more work in the next couple of weeks. So I hope I can finish my many combat system finish and uh, I will add more like a camera control to make the combat system more realistic. So thank you for watching. I uh, hope I can produce more video in next couple of weeks. Thank you.